For the last few months, Kling 1.6 has been the go-to AI video generator, dominating the scene with its high-quality outputs. But now, there's a new contender, WAN 2.1. And here's the kicker, it's completely free. So, the big question, can WAN 2.1 dethrone Kling 1.6? In this video, I'll put both AI video generators to the test, running them through multiple challenges to see which one delivers the best results. We're talking about motion accuracy, consistency, realism, and of course, the final wow factor. By the end of this, you'll know exactly which tool deserves your time, and if Kling should start worrying. Let's dive in. There are several ways to access the new WAN 2.1 generator. The first way is directly at WAN.video. You get 50 free credits per day using this method, so it will be great if you're on a budget. Here's the drawback. It took me over three hours to generate one video using WAN 2.1 Plus on a Sunday afternoon. I think that deserves a SpongeBob meme. The second way is to use a multi-purpose tool like Crea.ai. Going this route, I was able to create this video in about 10 minutes, but the usage was sky high. One video took almost 20% of my monthly compute. I have the smallest paid plan they offer, but still, I can generate about 150 flux images for 20% of my monthly compute. The best way I found to use WAN 2.1 was to download it directly. To do that, I jumped over to Pinocchio. This is a software that allows you to download AI tools directly to your machine and run them locally. The only downside with this method is that the quality and speed of generations depends on the power of your computer. So if you have an old, beat-up laptop, you may need to stick with the first two options. Now be careful anytime you are downloading programs like this. Don't just do it because a YouTuber said so. With that out of the way, let's get to the generations. I tested Kling and Wan in two different ways. First, we'll look at text-to-video for both, then we'll jump to image-to-video. Our first text-to-video prompt is this. Generate a video of a penguin skateboarding down a sandy beach while wearing sunglasses with waves crashing in the background. The cling generation looks great. The penguin and skateboard look lifelike and the waves are crashing in the background. You can even see the tread of the skateboard. The wand generation is also pretty good. More cartoonish, which is fine since I didn't specify a style. The waves don't really move. I think cling gets a slight win on this one, but it's close. The next prompt will be a huge red dragon flying over a medieval castle overlooking a coastline. People scatter in fear. Kling got the dragon mostly right, and there is sort of a castle here, but the dragon seems to be flying backwards, and the people below don't look overly concerned. With Juan, I think the first few frames are better than Kling, but it didn't catch the dragon was supposed to be red. It does have a scared person running through frame, as the dragon gets closer, you really see only the wings on the dragon are moving. We'll call this a tie, but neither generation is very usable. Next up, a 1970s sports car driving down a coastal highway in California. The camera follows behind the car from a high angle. Notice in this prompt, I highlighted the angle of the camera to that facet of prompt adherence. Great generation from Kling, and same with Juan. Both generators handled the specifics of the camera angle, the car, and the scenery very well here. We'll call this one a tie, as both are usable and close in quality. The last text to video prompt is, a mystical world covered in jungles. In the night sky, you can see two moons, one white and one red. Also scattered in the sky are several floating islands with waterfalls falling from them. Okay, from Kling, we have good movement, and the jungle looks good, but it appears the moons both have waterfalls falling from them, along with some of the random trees. With one, the waterfalls and floating islands are separate, and there is very little movement, but I think it's a better generation overall. I'll give Juan the victory here, tying the score two to two as we move on to the image to video generations. The first image to video comparison we have is using this warrior image. Along with this image, the prompt I added was, the god of Germany stomps towards the camera as the Iron Eagle flies behind him. The camera moves on a crane to an overhead view. The Kling generation has the warrior god walking towards us, but it missed the camera motion. 
There is a slight fuzz in the bird at the end as well. Juan got the camera motion correct, but the warrior pretty much stands still. This one will be a tie, with both generations being usable. The next image is of this performer. I used this for an AGT transformation video a while ago. The prompt is very detailed, so I will leave a link to it and all the other prompts used in this video in my AI community, you can grab them there. The big difference I see between the two generations is that the WAN generator has a little distortion when the performer ducks his head, and then again when his hands come together. Kling seems to handle the motion much better. This round goes to Kling, even though the WAN generation would be usable in a lot of situations. Now, using that same starting image I asked for a transformation into an eagle, again, you can find the exact prompt in my community. This might be the most lopsided victory for Kling. While the transformation does take a while, it's very cool and almost believable. The wand generator eagle comes out much more cartoonish, and there is no way I'd think that was real. Another point for Kling, with just one comparison left. My AI avatar is moonlighting this time as a mighty warrior. I intentionally kept the prompt very simple for this one to see what would happen. The warrior turns and walks towards the town. Okay, with the limited instruction, I gave the generator Kling did exactly what was asked. It also did a pretty good job of keeping the face together during the turn. The wand generation isn't bad, but the prompt adherence is not quite up to par with Kling. So it looks like the final score will be Kling 5.5 and Wan 2.5. I think the final score of this test makes this comparison seem worse than it was. Kling is definitely still the top dog when it comes to image generators in my opinion, but Wan is not a bad choice if you run out of Kling's free credits. It's also brand new, so we'll have to keep an eye on it to see how much Wan is able to improve over the next few months. What did you think of each generation? Which was your favorite? Cast your vote down in the comments below. Before you leave, please drop a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel to get notified when my next video drops. Until next time, see ya.